Hello everyone, it's Mike here and today I want to show you a little bit about how to program a plugin for Bucket. I've got a lot of requests from people to show me how to, I'm doing my plugin, my RPG Craft plugin. And to be quite honest, that is quite the complicated plugin and I can briefly show you some things but I think for the, for the best part of this video, I'm going to just show you how you can start making your own plugins using Eclipse. Now Eclipse is what's called an IDE, this is it here, this is Java Eclipse, and it's open source and free, you can download it yourself, and basically what you do with this is you create yourself a project. Now to start off, we're going to choose what's called a workspace, and this is just a folder where all your projects are stored, and I'm going to create a brand new one, I'm going to stick it right on my desktop here, Let's see, desktop, and we'll go videos. Alright, so that's creating a videos desktop or a videos workspace on my desktop. And from there, we can do our projects. We can set up different source code, all kinds of stuff. And it opens up our Eclipse. This is brand new Eclipse. So, what we're going to do two things we need to install on Eclipse that are prerequisites to programming for Bucket. One of them is called Maven, and the other one is Git. Now this is for getting projects from other sites. So we're going to go through that step first. So you click on help. And we go to install new software. And here's our software install program. Now M2E, this is how we get Maven. So we're going to go here and just select the top site. Now it comes some, sometimes it takes a moment or two to download or to find it. It's searching everything for M2E which is the Maven 2 Eclipse environment. So we'll just wait for that. Okay, so it seems to have found two groups. I'm just gonna open them up here and you're gonna see M2E, Maven Integration for Eclipse. So we're gonna select that. Now we wanna type git, G-I-T. And we're just gonna wait again. It's doing it searching right now. Shouldn't take too long. And we want Eclipse git. So, we go next, just taking care of dependencies, it says uh, modified, okay, it's just new version I guess, finish, and restart. So those two things are installed, now we can start getting ready to set up our environment for bucket plugins. What I'm going to do for these plugins, uh, I'm going to try to keep them short and sweet and just to the point. So this video is only going to be setting up your environment. Uh, so now we have this. This is up in our left here. We have it's our package explorer. This is where all your programs are going to be. You can have multiple plugins, things loaded at once here. This center area is where all your source code is going to be. Task list is say you have to do messages. They'll show up there. You can customize this as you want. And the bottom part is where you're going to see messages on the console and things like that. Now, one of the major things is we did install Git, so we need to go to Window. We need to go Show View. We're going to go down to Other, because what you want is the Git repositories right here under Other. Okay. Click on that, and you're going to see it over here apparently. But we don't want it over here. We're going to drag it. You can just drag it around and see where it goes. Now let's put it here. Now this is where, say for example, you need to get libraries for something. Now Bucket itself is a library. It's a library of Java source files and it's needed for every single plugin. And I've already taken the liberty to go to the Bucket page where we can get the source code. So what we do here is we copy this here, get read only link. It starts with GIT colon okay copy that and we go back into our Eclipse and here we can just right click paste and this here is basically going to just automatically take that it's going to tell us what's available we say next we don't want to install it there um, so call it bucket 2 and okay now what it's doing is downloading bucket it's downloading all source code and we can build it from here So this is stage one. We've got bucket here, and you'll see, let me make this bigger. You'll see here that we have branches, tags, references, remotes, and our working directory. 
branches is where you want to go you want to go in branches and remote tracking and we're going to click on the master and double click on that and that loads that currently on disk okay so now that we have it here we're going to go and import this project the bucket project into our package explorer by clicking on import now this time we're going to go to maven because this is a maven project and we're going to browse our directory now it happens to be in my Michael and Git folder. So what's going to do is it's going to scan this folder for all projects that are Maven projects. There might be a couple here. I'm not going to get them all. I'm only going to get bucket two because that's the one we're working with. And next, in carry on. So what this is actually doing, it's importing the projects right into our workspace. So once it's done, you'll see down the bottom left is building. Sorry, the bottom right. It's building our project takes a few seconds to do but this is the start of what you need to make your own projects before we get too deep into the bucket programming there is one thing I failed to mention um, not quite so long ago the bucket team changed how their plugins were being used and now they're using something called eBeans and eBean is basically what your plugin is it's a bit of source code that runs with another program but that doesn't matter what matters is we need to download this from this website here avaje.org uh, so click on come here I'm gonna give you the link for this you can download this and we just want the newest one that's fine with me and we're gonna download this zip file and we're gonna put it in our workspace folder in a folder we're gonna call lives or library or whatever you wanna call it so I'll just show you where to put that because we're going to have to link this with any project we make. Okay, files downloaded. We're going to open her up and just extract it right here. Uh, my videos, and we're going to make a new drive for folder called Lives. L I B S. Okay, there we go. Now I can close that and close this. Yeah, let's get back into our project because I just want to make sure you knew about that. Alright everybody, so I don't want to make this video too long, I just want to show you how to set up your environment for making bucket plugins. So basically just to recap, we've got our Eclipse set up, we've got Maven installed, we've got eGit installed, which are two important things. We went to the Git repository and we'll ignore this message, went to the Git repository and we downloaded the bucket source code which you can see up here in my projects explorer and in this source code you're free to browse but and we're gonna get deeper into this later as we go but in here is the guts and glory of bucket if you want to find out how to do something you go through this say you want to find out if the uh, I don't know what happens when a player puts a painting on the wall you go to org e bucket event painting you can open up this and these are events that happen when a player puts a painting on the wall. Uh, any of these events you can tap into and you can rewrite code to do what you want to do. So next time around I'm going to show you how to do a basic plugin on how to change the color of signs once a player puts them up. This is kind of um, something I think is very useful and I just did it myself there not long ago and I think it makes a big difference so I hope you enjoy. I will get that video up as shortly as possible and um, please give me some feedback on how, what you think about this video if you like it or not uh, like the video comment and everything and I'll be very happy with all that so thanks very much everybody have a good day I hope you enjoyed this